hi guys you're welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are welcome the name is Akai thank you for all your subscription may God bless you all please today's tutorial is about how to cut and sew this trendy dress so if that's what you want to learn then let's get right into the video so the shoulder to waist i'm working with is 19 inches we have to deduct 5 inches from the shoulder then we mark the shoulder to waist so that's what i've marked there i've ruled a line so that the shoulder to waist you deduct 5 inches from the top then you mark so i'll cut it so that's what i'm cutting now that's the shoulder to the waist so I'll put the rest of the fabric aside. So now we'll mark the neckline. So that's the zip line. The zip line is one inch. So that's what I'm marking. The extra, the excess white thing that you are seeing that I'll cut that out. That is not part. It's just a plain side. So I'll cut that part off. So you measure, you did that the five inches. Then you measure, you measure from shoulder to your underbust, and the shoulder to the underbust is fifteen inches. So I'll mark the fifteen inches. That's the fifteen inches. So I'll rule a line there. So that's the fifteen inches. Then I'll shape the side. Then you measure from your armpit to your armpit and this one is 16 so i'll measure 16 divided by 2 is 8 so i'll mark the 16. then i'll connect it to the ham hole so i'll connect the neckline to the ham hole so we have to cut Then we are cutting the back. You did that the five inches, then you come down by eight inches. Then you cut you mark it, you connect it to the 16 that I marked. Then I'll cut. So I'm cutting the back, but the front you won't cut. The front will be straight like that. Then I'm cutting the ham hole. So I'm finished cutting the ham hole. Now we'll shape the under bust and connect it to seven inches. Then you connect it to the seven inches. You mark from the top going down seven inches. Then you mark it, you, you curve it, then you cut it there. So it will join the under bust line. So that's what I'm cutting now. So we will mark the that the that is the that interval is eight inches. So eight divided by two is four. So that's what I'm marking now. The that is one inch. So I finish marking the that. We'll put that one aside. Then we cut the front. So the front will cut a different one. We won't use the main one that we cut because we have to gather the front part. So you add eight inches to that that size or the measurement that you have. You add eight inches extra fabric before you cut. So you gather here so that's the eight inches fabric there so i've cut it i'm now coming to cut it 
I've put it on top of the main fabric that we are using. The first one we will use it, we will just use it to cut the main one. But we will extend it. So that's what I'm marking. So you measure your seven from the top, then you connect. No, no, you put it there, then you you cut it where the the curve is under the basket. Yes, you put it. On it like this then you cut it then you divide the center into two yes so we sew that part then we we'll cover it So we we'll gather the bottom part, then we we'll join it to the under under bust yoke. So we are now coming to cut the sleeve. The sleeve is a puff sleeve. So I want a straight line. I'm rolling the line now. The measurement we we'll work with is fourteen inches. The width is fourteen inches. The width is 14 inches. When you open it, that means you get 28 inches. And the length is 14 inches as well. Thirteen, but I will make it 14. So that's the 14. Then I will mark the ham hole. I will connect it there like so. Then I will cut it. The shoulder will be elastic and the bottom part will be elastic so that's what i'm marking i'm cutting now so 14 in width and 14 in length please ignore the noise so where we are is a there is a street and it's 4 a.m here but the taxis have already started working so that's why you can hear the noise so please ignore so i've marked the ham pit side yes that's what i've notched there so the top will sew that part and add elastic there or input elastic and the bottom part will there will be elastic because it's a puff sleeve so i'm coming to cut the panel the panel you make sure you use the that interval to cut the top so the that interval is eight divided by two so it's four and add your sewing allowance half so it will be four and a half so that's what you mark at the top there then the down will be 12 inches then you connect the line to the 12 inches the down part the width is 12 inches yes that's the 12 inches then you connect it you connect the four and a half to the 12 inches then you get your panel yeah that's what i've marked there so i'll cut it and put it on the other fabric we have to cut three pieces each three for the front three for the back so i'm cutting it now so i've cut the first panel so we'll transfer it to the rest of the fabric then we we'll cut the extra two panel before we cut the back so that's it i've cut the three panel the front one so we'll now cut the same for the back so i've cut it then i will divide the 
center so that we get the slip line so the back will be four it won't be four it will be three by you cut you divide that part then you get your slip line at the back so the back when you cut it it will be four and the front will be three pieces So I've joined the panel of camera so that the video will not be long. So now we are coming to make the sleeve. So we'll sew the bottom part where we'll add the elastic. Then sew the upper part where we'll add the elastic. So I'll take it to the machine and sew it and bring it to come and show it to us for us to see. So you, you fold it into two. Then you sew. Then you sew the bottom part too. And this is the front. You join, you leave four inches from the top to the down. Then you sew that part, you sew the rest of the fabric down. Then you, you hem the top where we we'll put a rope that will tie. Then the down will be gathered and joined to the end. Uh, under back yoke so i'll go and make my that both the front and the back then join the goddess then come and show it to us for us to see so this is how it will look the top is four inches and i put some inside so when you put it is four inches so the top will add the rope then we pull then the down will be guarded and joined to the yoke. So I will guard, I will pull the guarded and join it to, to come and show it to us to see. So all the time the guarded to be two, not one. So it two lines. And when you are gathering the the breast side make sure the goddess will not go up to your hand pitch you leave some space there about five inches then the goddess will start uh, maybe after the that two inches then it will come to the center the other side will two inches from the that then it will come and meet the other center then you pin it to your you then you sew So this is how it will look. So we'll join it to the yoke, the underbass yoke. Then we sew. Then I'll come and show it for us to see how it looks. So we make sure that's the back. I've piped the back. I've done the that. Then that's the yoke. I've done the that. I've top stitch it. So add it to the the goddess that we pull at the top. So that's how it should look. So we'll pin it and sew it and come and show it to us to see. So I finished sewing it. So this is how it looks. So I'm removing the goddess that I pull. All the time when you pull your goddess, make sure you remove the stitches so that your your clothes or your dress will look neat. So I finish removing the goddess. So I will now go and shape. No, we'll join the panel to the top, to the top, and get it one. Before we shape, we use the measurement to shape the body. You see how beautiful it is. It's coming out nice, nicely. So you put the back on it, then you shape it. You make sure the armhole meets the other armhole. Then you pin it down. Then you shape it and sew. I've put in the rope at the top. So that's what is there. Then that one you can pull it. It depends on how you want it. If you want it loose, fine. If you want it to be tight, then you pull it loose. You open it. So that's what I'm tying now.
so after that then we join the panel piece to the the upper body bodies then we shape it then we fix our sleeve there's a slit at the tie at the left side so we we'll slipped it depends on the length that you want to slip if you want it 20 24 then you mark that side then you saw how you want to slit the shoulder and the tie so i'm coming to hem the sleeve and the upper side of the sleeve then we put the elastic in it so i finished showing it off camera we are coming to measure the elastic the around hand side the elastic you measure 14 inches 14 inches so you cut it to double 14 inches to then the top will be 5 inches so that means 10 that one too you cut it to so 14 inches for the uh, around arm then 10 inches for the shoulder one so if you can drop it it can be a off shoulder it can be on the shoulder that's how the style is you can style it how you want it so we'll put the elastic in the sleeve and you sew the side half inch so the shoulder one the shoulder elastic is 10 inches and the sleeve around sleeve is 14 inches when you are cutting the elastic 10 and 14 bear it in mind So I finished putting the elastic. So now we can attach it to the body. Then we fix a zip. I fix as invisible zip at the back. So I finished shaping everything. This is how the dress looks. So I will now cut the ham hole and join my. That's the zip line. We'll fix an invisible zip and invisible zip. Then we we'll attach. So this is the finished look. You can try it and see that's the front where the rope is so there is a space there you make sure you leave that space four inches so that your breast will not show so this how you can drop it to the shoulder you can put it on the shoulder you can wear it as a off shoulder that's the under bust and the yoke there you make sure the panel pieces meet the dart that's the panel pieces it's directly uh, on the dart is neat and nice so that's where i slit at the side so you can make it depends on how you want your own so that's the finished look thank you for watching see you in the next one please subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up thank you for watching bye bye